came here to Florence, Italy for a little break, but I have to share something with you, a secret. Did you know that there is this amazing outlet full of international brands, famous brands, especially Italian brands, here one hour away outside of Florence by bus with incredible discounts. If you don't know about it yet, I'm gonna show you. Okay, we are now trying to find a way to the bus station. I hope we are in the right place. There is a central station of Florence and the bus stop for the mall is right there. As soon as you get out of the bus, you're right in front of the Gucci store. This is a great advantage of coming here during winter time. There is absolutely no queues to get in. I always hear about people having to queue for like a very long time during the summer, especially during sales, but now, yeah, they have the, the sales time and it's empty. Not a lot of tourists, so. the sunglasses I wonder if we can find something interesting oh yeah so on the other side is the women's glasses and then on this side is the men's glasses the price reductions change a lot like here this is just of 75 euros but here it's from 300 to 70 300 euros cheaper than the original price from 300 to 70 <gasps> from 300 euros to 70 euros this is insane this one from 410 to 95 wow okay so as you can see the discounts here are worth it especially at this time of the year wow these ones were 710 and now they are selling for 165 crazy discounts it's a little too big isn't it yeah it's giving me out on drone vibes <laughs> true very bad bunny these ones are very 70s oh, quite a good discount that's just way too much fashion yeah <laughs> oh this coat is beautiful what is the discount from 2500 to 75 okay it's a big so discount 1750 it's a big discount but it's still a lot of money yeah price only for you my friend oh, it's actually kind of cool 1200 to 840 mm. they even have the north face gucci collection that was in store very recently well this one shines like it has these stones around the logo. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Ninety to five hundred fifty-five. Oh, and this is in collaboration with the Liberty of London. We've been to this store in one of my London videos. If you haven't checked yet, you should check it. I'll leave it here. Oh, that's actually a good discount. Yeah, that's half price. Yeah. Oh, I like these ones. Also good discounts. These are cool.
And we have here Dolce & Gabbana, Emporio Armani, Bottega Veneta, Givenchy, Chloe, Jimmy Choo, Fendi, Tots, Salvatore Ferragamo. Do we see a little restaurant there? It's a nice contrast between all these high fashion stores and modern buildings and then these idyllic landscapes. Yeah. Usually when you go to like a shopping mall, it's, you're inside the whole day, no uh, natural light. And here you get to go outside, catch some sun. Watch the beautiful landscape of Tuscany. Feels good. Yeah, and it's a very beautiful complex. Let's see what they have at the cafe. Ooh, so many nice things. Chocolates, crema custards, chocolate truffles. Mm. And the prices are actually good, right? Like 140, 110. So I got this mini panini with ham and cheese. Tim got a mini croissant with salmon. Mm -hmm. Cappuccino, cafe americano, everything for 10 euros. Usually when you think of an outlet, you think of, I don't know, some place that is not very well organized maybe, and is a little, like people are getting a little frantic, but here everything is very well taken care of, very, like a normal luxury store actually. Mm, this is good. I wasn't expecting much from this sandwich, but it's actually good. Mm, it's quite good. So, impressions of the Gucci store? Uh, great gowns, beautiful gowns. <laughs> no, I, it was beautiful. In terms of interior, it's a very visually pleasant experience. And then also what happens is that you see it for a good discount and you're like, uh, at first you're like, maybe I don't really like it. And then it's a good price. You're like, oh, do I like it actually? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if suddenly one pair of sunglasses is like reduced from like 700 to 160, my first thought is like, oh, what's wrong with it? Oh, Why yeah, are yeah. all the others only 100 euros off and this is suddenly 600? Like maybe no one wants it, maybe it's like something is wrong with it. Well, my first instinct is like, okay, I need to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see anything yet that I was really excited about that I really wanted to get. Um, yeah. So let's continue the shopping. But that's going to be my rule for here. Only if I like genuinely really like something um, and it has a really good price, then I'll, uh, I'll get it. It's like colorless. It's like what? Colorless? Colorless? <laughs> Without oh. the color. Alright, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> have amazing discounts the original retail price was a thousand euros but then with the discount is 525 and then on top of the 525 there is a 30 percent extra discount because we are here doing the sales what is the price 275 i like this one 425 doesn't say anything about a discount oh these ones in purple are also very nice from 950 to 475 yeah Bottega Veneta has some really cool designs this one was 1950 and now it's only 683 So they have this restaurant inside of the mall. So it's food specifically from this region, which I like. So we got here some Italian Prosecco. Well, actually it tastes very similar to Champagne. It's kind of like a mix between Champagne and Prosecco. So I got here the lasagna uh, with a ragu. It does look like it's a little bit overcooked, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Well done and crispy. Well done and crispy. Mm. Oh, but that one looks really nice. So what was that again? No D, not gnocchi, no D. Uh, of spinach and ricotta with um, sage and butter and some cheese. Mm, that looks nice. Right? Yeah. It is not lasagna, it's lasagna. Oh, I'm sorry. I think that's like the pieces broken up. Oh. Rather than having like the full pieces of lasagna, it's with smaller pieces. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. And is this a 
sort of pasta or rice no, or I actually don't potato? Know. It's not. I, I, I'm not sure actually. Maybe someone at home will know. There's like a light coating around it. I think maybe it's like the lightest, thinnest layer of pasta around it. Mm. But mostly filling. Nice. Sounds good. Yeah. And it tastes good? Yeah, it's really good. Mmm. Really good. Really good. Mmm. It's kind of like a little bit of a bolognese sauce, but then it's made with a ragu. So like slow cooked meat from the region. All regional ingredients as well, which is the specialty of this place. Oh, so let me try this one. Mmm! Nice! Just imagine a ravioli, which is basically just filling and then a little thing slice. Ah, uh, slice. Slice? No, layer. <laughs> a little thing layer of pasta. Good, right? Mm. Mm. Delicious. Like even before I started chewing, I could already taste those delicious, um, like slow cooked flavors. Mm -hmm. Really nice. For some reason, like when it's slow cooked, it gives this like deep, intense flavor. Sure. So good. Mm. Mm. Delicious. And my favorite dessert, the tiramisu. It's very subtle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's a very positive thing in this case. Yeah. You don't really feel that taste of sugar on it. You just feel like quality ingredients. Approved. Really good. Overall, it was a really good experience actually, a good nice day trip. In terms of prices, I found that there was lots of really good discounts, of course, because we came during the sales time. Uh, maybe if you come outside of the sales time, the discounts are not going to be as high as they were right now. Some of my favorite shops there were Tom Ford's, uh, Bottega Veneta, Gucci and Prada. Unfortunately, I couldn't really film much in the other stores because they were quite small and there was a lot of personnel and actually they asked me not to film that much. But I would say you can really find some good discounts, but you have to kind of like dig for it a little bit because most of the things are either, for example, at Gucci, most of the things are either too out there with like bedazzled uh, tops, I don't know, jackets full of crystals around it. It's not really something I would normally wear unless it's like some sort of special event, but I don't think it's worth uh, spending so much money on something that I'm just not gonna wear. But at Bottega Veneta they had some really cool uh, stylish outfits that I would definitely wear. Just the prices were a little bit too high Still, yeah. for me to actually buy it. So you kind of have to spend the whole day at the mall uh, researching, checking all the stores, checking the discounts. Don't be afraid to talk to the personnel because everybody has been very friendly there, or at least most of them. Yeah, very patient also. Very patient. Yeah. We were asking questions, we were trying different outfits and they were very helpful. We took the 9-10 bus, right? So we yeah. were there around like 10-15 and we took the 3 o'clock mm -hmm. bus back and we had plenty of time to visit most of the stores and to have a long lunch. So between 10 and 3, like 5 hours is more than enough yeah. to see most of it. The restaurant was surprisingly good. Yes. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. And affordable also, especially the cafe. Oh yeah. And the bus service is very convenient. It just drops you off like right where you need to be. If you're a fashion lover, I would recommend going there. But my tip is go when it's sales time. And uh, even if you're not a fashion lover per se, you can come along for the ride. There's plenty to do. You can just sit in the cafe and visit a little shop here and there. Uh, and you also have, have plenty to do. You're gonna like my next video. We are now gonna go explore more of the fashion in Florence. So we are gonna check some stores. We are gonna go to the Gucci Garden because the main 
headquarters of Gucci is here in Florence but that will be on my next video so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet make sure to subscribe so you can watch it the whole adventure in Florence and in other parts of the world as well I have plenty of tips of shopping and foods and sites to see so now let's go explore fashion and food in Florence see you on my next video